unveil the secrets that have baffled historians for centuries as we delve into the greatest mysteries of the Egyptian pyramids. From unconventional shapes to celestial alignments, journey with us through the enigmatic history of these architectural marvels. We're still figuring out how the pyramids were built. The methods employed to build the Egyptian pyramids are one of the greatest mysteries in archaeology. The Great Pyramid of Giza was constructed using more than 2 million limestone and granite stones, making the astonishing feat of the Egyptians all the more amazing. The average weight of a masonry component was 2.5 tons, 2.3 metric tons. When the proper amount of water was introduced, researchers who experimented with hauling heavy loads across the sand on a sled discovered that the task was greatly simplified. Sand that was dampened significantly reduced friction by as much as 50%, making it considerably easier to move heavy loads. The Egyptians used astronomy to guide construction. A British Egyptologist claimed that the alignment of the pyramids was determined by the stars. The Big Dipper and Little Dipper were utilized to orient the pyramids in a north-south direction, according to Kate Spence's 2000 research from Cambridge University. Their measurements were so precise that they barely had a 0.05 degree margin of error. Interestingly, using this knowledge, astronomical records can be used to date the pyramids. Most pyramids were built west of the Nile. The symbolism and beliefs that governed ancient Egyptian civilization are abundant. It should therefore come as no surprise that mythology served as a guide for everything, even where to build the ancient pyramids. The majority were constructed on the west bank of the Nile and for a specific purpose. It only makes it natural that the pharaoh's ultimate resting places should be the pyramids, where their souls can start their journey into the afterlife. The sun and the afterlife were closely related concepts to the ancient Egyptians. Osiris, an Egyptian deity who had a strong connection to the afterlife, stood for the power of fresh life. He eventually came to be identified with how the sun's cycle produced fresh growth from latent seeds. As a result of this association, the setting sun came to represent death, and each night the sun died in the west. Pharaoh's souls were supposed to communicate with the setting sun before rising anew in the morning as a representation of endless life. They constructed pyramids to the west of the Nile so that they could reside close to the location that, allegorically, represented death. The Great Pyramid Can Tell Time In addition to being the most well-known of Egypt's pyramids, the Great Pyramid of Giza is also the only one of the seven wonders of the ancient world to still be standing. The Great Pyramid is fascinating for a variety of reasons, but its ability to tell time is one of its most intriguing features. The building serves as a giant sundial, telling the time by casting a shadow on marks carved into the stone. It was obvious that it couldn't be any old sundial because it was the Great Pyramid. Because of its intricacy, it could not only tell the time, but also mark solstices and equinoxes, which enabled the Egyptians to establish the solar year. In the sands of time, the Egyptian pyramids stand as a testament to human ingenuity and spiritual significance. As we continue to unravel the mysteries woven into their stone walls, one thing remains clear. The pyramids are more than monumental tombs. They are timeless wonders that continue to inspire awe and curiosity. Subscribe to join us on this unending expedition of discovery.